If you're not already, make sure to follow the socials, man. Instagram, Twitter, you already know the vibes. Let's get into the video. What are you listening to? Huh? What are you listening to? Henry the Blasian. Brand new. Not even out yet. I feel alive again. I know I gotta win. And I've been on my way. Ain't no abandoning. So in case you needed one more reason to not go for Galaxy Opal Clay, here's one reason. 94 overall, Diamond Flash, Glenn Rice. The demigod from NBA 2K20, my team, is back as a diamond card in 2K21. And I'm telling you guys right now, this card still looks like he's going to be absolutely nasty. And he's only going for under 30k MT versus Galaxy Opal Clay, who without the set being complete yet, is 750,000 MT with two more cards to come out. So that's something to keep in mind. And this Glenn Rice, I think, is being slept on. I don't see many people talking about this card. And I'm about to give you guys some reasons why you need to pick him up. Now, I do think he's going to be better on next gen than current gen. But that's not to say that he's not worth picking up on current gen. Before we do get into it, though, if you're new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to 250k. The support has been absolutely unreal. And let's also aim for 1,500 likes on today's video, man. But without further ado, man, let's dive into Glenn Rice, see what this card's all about and let me show you why this card is going to be worth picking up so 99 offensive overall is really nice to see 89 defense not the greatest but i can show you why it can be better six foot seven so he does have one inch on galaxy opal clay for those of you that don't know they made clay thompson six foot six this year but uh diving into the stats guys like the overall said offensively he's blessed 90 driving layup 85 draw foul 96 three ball by the way he has a fire jumper 92 mid-range 85 driving dunk 95 free throw so offensively i've got no issues with that you can increase the driving dunk if you want i think it's honestly perfectly fine 90 driving dunk tendency he's not posterizing but he's gonna put it down he's got the ball handling to speed boost his defense is good but it's not great but here's the thing guys those kobe grinches that are out right now if you give this card the defensive shoe he can be absolutely amazing now i don't think he needs it as much on next gen as he does on current gen you give it to him on current gen and this card becomes a lockdown defender plus five to all the defensive stats makes him amazing on top of that he's got 80s in the rebounding 88 speed and acceleration with an 87 speed with ball perfect to play at the three you can play him at the two which i will be for this gameplay 78 strength is not bad 86 lateral quickness which again with that kobe grinch shoe goes up to 91 and that's only like a 15k mt shoe not bad at all for such a big upgrade and then the mental game it's fairly on point it's nothing crazy but it's on point when we dive into the badges guys this is where i think the card actually starts to shine nine hall of fame badges and 30 gold so you got hall of fame catch and shoot Hall of Fame Corner Specialist, Hall of Fame Blinders, which is unreal on next gen, not the most ideal on current gen, but you can still use it to your advantage. And then you've got Hall of Fame Deep Threes and Circus Threes on Glenn Rice. On top of that, Sniper for anyone that uses the shot stick, wouldn't recommend it, but Slippery Off Ball, Tireless Shooter, and Volume Shooter. You can see all of those are offensive badges, but he's still got defensive gold badges, which is what I like about the card. I thought they would balance him somehow by making sure he can't hold clamps, but he all already comes with gold clamps gold pick dodger gold intimidator gold posterizer rebound chaser post lockdown tireless defender anti-freeze giant slayer rhythm shooter bailout downhill quick first step unpluckable green machine hot zone hunter bullet passer and special delivery like on paper man it's really hard to understand why this card is going for so cheap i know there's a diamond jr smith out in the game right now that's going for about 60k mt and even though jr might have a slightly better jumper than glenn rice i don't think there's a reason it should be a 30k mt difference i still think this card is being underrated but obviously we're going to see what this card can do on the court on paper he looks amazing but what can he do on the court that's what we're here to find out man without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's hop into a game and let's see if glenn rice is really nice let's get into it the matchup today is shiners underscore let's show them what glenn rice is all about man all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to that htb gameplay crisscross applesauce on that pick and roll all the way through and we got that layup to go let's go man give me the nice little pick and roll here finesse him hit that screen thank you stop it i'm popping green Look at how nice that jumper is, though. It is crazy. It's not the base 98 from last year. Doesn't change the fact that it's money. All right, Glenn, let's hit him with that off-ball deodorant. The same things I would run if I had a Clay Thompson. Open. He's trying to read that. He knows my plays. 
finesse that. Bye bye. We gone. All the way to the basket. He's putting it down on Anthony Davis. Who needs a 90 driving dunk? Why are we going into a full court press, man? It is not that serious. I'm running with it though. Kyrie Irving, he's got the dunk animations. I'll take that. No, sir. Good defense. There's no way that goes down. There's just no way. Let me get a nice little pick and fade here from Hakeem. Hit that. Oh, we got that range. We got that range, baby. Come on. We got that. We're definitely not playing the hottest. Hold that screen though. Thank you. Again. Oh, I lagged a little bit and we still green the shot. I got takeover. It's time for the half court threes already. I need one good screen here. Hit that screen. Thank you. I'm stopping. Oh, he closed out on that and I still greened it. Glenn Rice is going crazy right now. All right, time to start scoring with the rest of the team. Oh, Glenn, why would you leave him wide open? Come on. You don't throw double teams at Mello. Get there. Oh, let's go, LeBron. Beautiful block. Right now, Glenn basically has all our points. Let's get the rest of the team involved. Nice little spinner, Ruski. I thought that would be a dunk. I messed that up. Let's get the offense going through the rest of the team for a little bit because Glenn's getting tired of carrying. LeBron wide open. Green. This guy's got to start guarding up the pick and rolls. Has around that screen. Thank you. Nice little crossover. LeBron, I need you to take over right now. My team is starting to just not play defense. We got to step up here, man. Carmelo needs to get off the court. LeBron, right to that pick and fade. Thank you. Glenn, in the corner. Green. I saw him not contesting. I had to take it, man. Like I said, guys, this Glenn Rice is a monster. In the second half here, AD, if I can get that screen. Bro, what just happened there? You guys saw that, right? I just leg like crazy. Get in there. AD, go up ASAP. What the? Come on, bro. What is going on right now? AD, wide open. Please hit that. Oh my goodness, man. What is going on with my game? Let's get AD a nice little pick and roll here. Hit that screen. Oh, we got the deep threes. We got deep threes like that. If not, AD better be on those boards. Let's go. Let me see if I can get Glenn Rice involved in a nice little pick and roll. Oh yeah, he's not going to see that coming. Let's go, Glenn. You got those hops. We got to just get some stops. Get the steal. Thank you. Glenn, I see you in transition. All the way. Spinaruski. Easy layup there in transition. Let's go, man. One more stop. Good defense there. Get the re- Yo, we don't rebound. Guys, we gotta get one rebound. AD, stop jumping. Oh my gosh. Pump fake. LeBron. Pump fake. Oh, he closed out on that quick. All the way to the basket. A! And one for the king. Let's go ahead and let's convert that. All right, we got to get a good stop here, man. I've been saying that the whole game. Play some defense, somebody. It's not even Glenn. It's the whole team. That's a steal. Good job, Ben Simmons. Come on. Let's go all the way. Oh, I didn't even look at the time. I would have called a timeout for a three, but we're going into the fourth quarter down four. Hopefully, we can do something, man. This has been a rough defensive game for me. I will say that. If I get the right screen here, it's a three. Crossover. I have no stamina. This Glenn Rice is officially out of stamina. Oh, right to the corner. That's a three for Paul. Come on, Paul. Let's go. No way. That's going down. Yo, somebody get to the basket. Hakeem, I need you there. There we go. He's going to bait that. Good defense. Oh, that's our ball. Let's go, bro. Stop bailing this guy out. Give me the poster. Give me the poster. Oh, it's fine. Leave Glenn open. The Hall of Fame range extender. Leave him open. Three to the dome, baby. We guard those here. We guard those here. Good defense on that pick and roll. Uh, let's keep it pushing here, man. Come on. Glenn, I already see you. Catch. Oh, I want to shoot that so bad. Out of bounds? Contested? By who? Watch him score that. If he scores that, I'm quitting this game. I will actually quit this game. Thank you. All right, let's push it. Ben, don't worry, Mello. I see you in the corner. Hello, Mello. Right down the baseline. That's my dunk. Hey! I'm there. I'm there. The rotation's on defense right now. Keep pushing the pace. Oh, come on. You're getting cooked. This Porzingis is getting cooked. Someone give me that. Thank you. I already see it. Hakeem, get in there. All the way. Put it down. I thought you were going to get blocked by Zion. Get that steal. Get the steal. Oh, my goodness. I had no idea what that animation was. I know he's looking to foul me. So let me get a nice little screen here. He wants to steal the ball from Glenn, who doesn't have much stamina left. I should have shot that. That's cool, though. Uh, let's go to Ben Simmons. Jab. Spin off that. To the basket. A. A. Porzingis can't guard a freaking stick. I'm going to send Melo there for help. Oh, he went for the moving threes. Oh, the moving threes, man. The moving threes. That's so much space on Glenn Rice. I'll shoot that. I'll shoot that with confidence. I'll shoot that with confidence. Glenn, the demon. I'm there. He's going for another moving three. I was definitely there. I... What did I do to you today, 2K? Euro step? Hey! <laughs> we got to pull out that Ben Simmons cheese. Steal that. Oh, I thought that was a steal. I thought that was a steal. He's going to go for another moving three type-ish. I see that. Good. <gasps> okay, I was going to say. 
I literally read that alley-oop like a book driving Glenn Dagger. That's contested. Okay, I'm stupid. No way. Don't let him go for a moving three. I know what you want. You need that timeout. He tried to sprint to the right as hard as possible there. No! No! No, oh my God, I thought that contested shot was about to go down. He fouled me. I jumped a little too early there, and we still got the contest. Thank you, LeBron, for Hall of Fame Intimidator. That was a bad pass. Okay, he's got to foul us there. We got some free throws, and this game is over. This is one of the more low-scoring games I've had. Again, it just kind of felt like it was a weird game throughout the whole thing, but Glenn Rice, man, this dude was doing his thing, and now he's going to close it out with some clutch free throws. Both of them are going down. That's ball game. All right, so as you guys can see, we go ahead, we win this game 61 to 57 in what should not have been as close of a game as it was. I'm still glad we walked away with the dub, man. Let's go ahead, let's check out the box score and let's see how nice Glenn Rice really was. All right, so as you guys can see, Glenn Rice was doing his thing. In 20 minutes, 34 points, three rebounds, three assists, two steals. Now, nobody else was stealing like that on the team because Glenn was actually playing defense, which was really nice to see. He did have three turnovers, and again, that's probably because I don't have the handles for Days Badge and tight handles, so I was losing stamina very quick with the dribbles. But he does have the animations, and he was dunking the ball too. We did dunk on Anthony Davis, uh, 12 for 19 from the field, and 8 for 14 from three. Now, he doesn't shoot that bad from three. I just started off bad in that first quarter. When I got takeover in that first quarter, I was chucking. You could see three for seven. I hit my first three threes and then I was chucking from half court the guy kept contesting them wasn't too fun but afterwards in that second quarter we didn't miss in this third quarter only got one bucket there and then in the fourth quarter he hit two big time threes which were nice to see he hit he was perfect from the free throw line as well and then he had two dunks in total didn't have too many opportunities to attack the rim because again he was fairly tired but this Glenn Rice card at least on next gen is damn near perfect I mean his jumper is so fast the only thing I really think you need to add on to him is things that that don't make him as exhausted when he dribbles maybe anything that makes him faster i honestly don't even think you really need a defensive shoe on glenn rice on next gen maybe on current gen on next gen i'd honestly give him a speed shoe because that kobe gridge speed shoe gives him a driving dunk gives him insane speed and just the power of that shoe alone makes a card so much better than it should be to have plus five speed in every category and then driving dunk and ball handle in my opinion is nasty glenn rice again you're still a great card i'm honestly thinking about picking you up on the budget squad and I think I might have to because after seeing that dunk on Anthony Davis I'm starting to consider some things the card is great on both ends of the floor I'm not gonna say he's amazing on defense but I'm gonna say he's good enough to not really be a problem and again having that clamps badge and those defensive badges definitely makes it a bonus all around Glenn Rice can be a somewhat 3 and D card for you if you want again you're gonna need to give him that defensive shoe if you want that but he's like an all-around card because he can create his own shot with the circus threes he's got the step back he can go to the basket because he can dunk he's even got a bit of the post fadeaway and his post fadeaway animation is actually nice i just didn't attempt it in game but i was playing it around with it in freestyle and last year he had a nasty post fade so had to look at it but with that being said guys this is going to be the end of the video glenn rice again is going to be a way better value than galaxy opal clay likely will be but if you don't believe me go ahead and lock in all that empty for clay and then when you're pissed at yourself you can come back to me later and apologize but if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the blazer nation man i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care when it come down to it and you send it through i'ma hit you back like nah 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 when you slept on me now you asked for the handout i'ma hit you back like nah 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 when you talk about business you ain't talking about millions i'ma hit you back like